Hello, I would like to demonstrate my newly developed parametric equalizer with three bands. <coughs> it's developed in MATLAB and um, it, is, uh, had a, it has a low shelving filter. It has a high shelving filter over here, the blue filter, and it has a mid-band filter. <coughs> in fact, these three filters are all developed from the same uh, transfer function, which I will uh, shortly show you. It has the probab it has the the bandwidth. You can change the bandwidth from drawing the line. You can uh, change the frequency by drawing the marker. All right. Up here we have sender frequency print. We have a gain print, and we have a bandwidth print of the respective band uh, which you have chosen. Right. So once you you drag some band, uh, the color will change. Okay. So now I will shortly tell you something about the theory and afterwards I'll play some music. Okay, here is um, a presentation of, of, of this uh, project, which is, um, I, would, I would like to shortly, very shortly if I can, uh, describe uh, the, 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 it's designed from the notch and peak, peak, peak filters here. I would like to tell you something about the gain level how to design that and the shelving filters and the relative bandwidth and how I shortly how I implement it right so the project started out here and this is how I proposed it at the university low shelving filter mid band high shelving filter right and then um, you see here shortly this is notch and peak filters how they are defined I will uh, I will share all of this at Bitbucket which I will show you so you can you look at it yourself. I'll just shortly explain, right? And this is the parameters for the, the the notch filter and the peak filters, right? Here's the notch filter in set domain, and uh, here's some information about that. Uh, here you can see the zeros uh, making the notch at omega zero, right? Difference uh, difference equation for that. Uh, how to implement it directly? You just implement this in a for loop if you like, or something else. Here's a notch filter. Uh, demonstration of how it is. Here I can change the gain of the bandwidth level. Yeah, here's the peak filter uh, defined, and this is uh, the pre warp frequency uh, bandwidth of the bilinear transformation from an analog notch filter from which this was designed. This is all from, uh, if you know Orphanidis, it's from Orphanidis' book. Introduction to signal processing. Uh, he presents this in the book. All right. Uh, this is the implementation of the peak and notch filter, which makes the sum of all overall sum of one here. Uh, this is why when you do it wrong, it will look like this. So here's the Im implementing notch and peak filters. This is the different. This is this is the difference equation uh, from the which is actually the parametric EQ. This is the dif difference equation nine here showing the full uh, equalizer actually with these gain parameters here G0 is the reference gain this is the peak gain, this is the bandwidth gain this is the omega 0 and this is the delta omega which is the bandwidth, right? and these are all, uh, as you saw on the first slide, uh, in radians per sample here's the, uh, the gain with uh, relations, the gain relations so this, this is information you can read up on, right? Um, Here's some testing, and uh, here I show I introduce a NDB factor, which you can change to change the slope of it, if you like to do it uh, in a another way. So these are all uh, some stuff, right? So it can be looked into. This is the final test, and here's the shelving filters. I basically use the the equalizer filter here, inserting omega zero equal to zero which means that you could basically use the same filter as the equalizer then you have a low filter for the high shelving filter omega zero is pi so that's basically it nothing else right so here it's a test that it works test from test plot from MATLAB and here is something about the relative bandwidth the Q factor which you always have in an equalizer that's because once you have the bandwidth of here uh, 1000 Hertz and you're at 80 Hz, you move up through the axis, the 1000 Hz will become narrower and narrower and narrower. 
So you have to define the Q factor, right? And the Q factor is the center frequency over the bandwidth, as you see here. And then you have this slope. The slope will be remain the same all through the frequency axis, though the bandwidth will change. This is more consistent with how people will hear uh, music, right? So that's the thing. You can implement it as a direct form 1 realisa realization. Here's the differential equation from which you can implement everything. Um, yeah, I've implemented this in MATLAB in Simulink uh, because I found a template for doing so and then I followed it and I changed it. I think I improved it uh, uh, a bit, a lot actually. I improved it a lot, I'll say. So this is the graphic user interface for interfacing with Simulink. This is what you saw before. Uh, it's basically built from four states which you can find in the file called graphicgui.m which is uh, publicly available on my Bitbucket. Uh, I will show you that later. Uh, it has a bottom down function. Once you push once you push the plugin it will be in a state doing stuff and once you bottom up uh, that is leaving the mouse it will be in a new state saving stuff and once you move the marker, it will be in another state, and once you move the line, it will be in another state. All the parameters will be read from the, directly from the MATLAB plot UI object, directly into the Simulink model. The Simulink model looks like this. Here's the three filters in Cascade. These are the parameters from the graphical user interface. Here I read in audio, here I read out audio, here's a bypass switch, here's a product doing the output gain, and here's the block for saving coefficients. That's basically it. Inside these, uh, all the parameters are input into the parametric EQ. This is a max compiled C file. You need to make MATLAB compile the parametric EQ dot file called pareq.c. You basically tell the MATLAB command prompt to, to compile that by typing max pareq.c. Then you compile it for your platform. I developed this on and a MacBook, so mine is a Max Maggie 64 file, right? And you compile it for your platform. This is the digital filter. Here is in this an implementation of the NDB factor, which I showed in the slideshow. All right, and here is the block for doing the IIR filtering in direct form one. You can do it any way you like. I would like to do it personally next time in C. And if someone out there has uh, skills for doing graphical objects in C code, it will be nice to conference with you. And now I'll show you the filter with sound. So here is the sound. Okay. As you see, when I move up through we have the bandwidth here, the bandwidth is 470, here the bandwidth changes. As you see here, there's three filters as I showed you, and the middle one, the white one, is the sum of the decibels in this plot. So that's the overall frequency response, right? And basically, as I showed you, this shelving filter here is set in omega zero equal to pi, right? And I can change the bandwidth of that here. Once I do change the bandwidth, here's the MATLAB prompt telling me the filter 1 
has a Q factor of 0 0.3. Q factor uh, filter 2, the green one, has a Q factor of 2 at the moment. And the blue one has a 1.9 or 1.49. So, and very, I think a very important part of this is that I implemented this as the same filter. So I can just actually take this out and not just change it into a bandpass filter, a bandstop filter with some characteristic. Because it is the same filter. Okay, all this uh, all this filtering, uh, this whole project is publicly available, open source on my Bitbucket. Uh, you can find it here. I'll just show you. Uh, here's my Bitbucket account. It's called Bitbucket.org, and my account name is Unilil. And I think I have this project, but the SPC will be available to you. It's public. It's a new one. And inside there, you can go to the source, and inside the source, the project is inside the graphical graphic equalizer. Uh, this is a parametric equalizer. The project is inside the graphic equalizer, and the graphic GUI here is where I spend a lot of time doing uh, the, uh, the 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 black uh, thing that I showed you. All the 500 lines of code are in here. How to set it up and stuff. It's all up to you if you like to change stuff. I change stuff from another template, and here is some files, and the parametric eq.c file is here. That's what you need to compile. This is the differential equation, exactly as I showed you in the slideshow. The numerator and the denominator is these coefficients. They can be implemented any way you like, and most importantly, if you like to um, not most importantly, but if you like to have more information about it, here is the presentation inside the same folder, right? So, yeah, basically that's what I wanted to show you, and uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'm happy to make this work, and the next part is to implement this in C, I think, if I, if I get the time, right? <laughs>